Thank you for joining us once again on this Thursday and tonight 23 ABC is going in depth on stories that impact you and our community concerning the eviction moratorium and we're looking at rules in the state that might trump any federal action taken to end that program and how it could impact thousands of residents right here in Kern County. Now 23 ABC's Austin Westfall will have more on that coming up but first we want to start off by taking a look at how we got back to this moratorium and how it all first started. So the moratorium actually started on March 27th of 2020 and it was only supposed to last just a few months, but it was extended several times. But how does it actually work? Well, the moratorium gives renters protections if they've missed payments to rent due to pandemic related hardships. Once the moratorium ends, renters will have to repay all of the rent that they missed. And if a renter can't repay the missed rent, landlords are allowed to serve an eviction notice. So when do these protections actually end? Well, this week, a federal judge struck down that national eviction moratorium, leaving some California lawmakers arguing that that move could potentially leave millions of Americans without a home. But as 23ABC's Austin Westfall finds out, those federal policies are not exactly going to apply to Californians. And he joins us live in Northwest Bakersfield with a deeper dive into the set of rules that the Golden State follows. Good evening, Austin. Yeah, Alex, the short explanation is that California has its own uh, protections in place for renters, and they're going to be overshadowing those federal protections. SB 91 is in place until the end of June of this year, so June 30th, 2021. California has been playing by its own set of rules when it comes to protecting renters and landlords during the pandemic. And SB 90. One. Governor Gavin Newsom signing SB 91 into law in late January. Protecting millions and millions of people, tenants, as well as landlords. That bill extended the eviction moratorium in California through June 30th, which means through that time, renters cannot be evicted if they've paid a share of what they owe. As long as renters have paid at least 25% of their rent. There's also protections for small property owners. The law can pay 80% of some tenants unpaid rent, but only if the landlord agrees to forgive the remaining 20%. If a landlord refuses the deal, the law would pay off 25% of tenants' unpaid rent to make sure they qualify for eviction protections. The state is funding the relief with $2.6 billion in federal rental assistance money. Assemblyman David Chu of San Francisco helped write the bill. Surprisingly, we have not seen uh, the uptake that we had expected, but we know in many instances this is because Californians just aren't aware of the fact that this relief exists. Assemblyman Chu says people who are facing evictions that are not related to an economic hardship are still continuing, but for people who are facing hardships, he thinks it's critical that people not only know what their options are, but that they could be expiring at the end of June. Anyone who hasn't been able to pay uh, their full rent and hasn't availed themselves of rental assistance uh, could uh, run up into some challenges. Now, it's also important to note that those who make over 80% of the median income in a given area are not going to be eligible for those relief funds. There is a website that the state has put out in order to give people more information about the benefits that they can do and to see if they're eligible for those benefits. That website is on your screen. Housing is key. Dot com. Alex. All right, Austin, good information there. And I do want to ask you, did Assemblyman Chu discuss whether or not the state's eviction moratorium may be extended past the June deadline? Yeah, he says that he believes that it should be extended past the deadline. He believes that we're still in the middle of this pandemic. We're still getting through the pandemic. He says that ultimately there's just going to have to be discussions throughout the California legislature. Those talks are going to be going throughout the next weeks, and we're just going to have to see where we stand as we get closer to that June deadline. All right, thank you, Austin.